We've been working with the financial industry for many years now, but Mathematica has never been more relevant than it is today. There's a real desire to rethink risk management from first principles and to rebuild the models from the ground up. And Mathematica is absolutely the ideal system for that. The ability to take those models and build them on the very best algorithms and scale them up and build them into a production system and link them into legacy systems is, is unique to Mathematica. Mathematica 8 builds on top of the years of experience we have with finance with some specific capabilities for that group. So on the computational side, for example, we've got a whole new framework for handling pricing of options and derivatives. And so we've got a single framework. In the end, it comes down to what appears to be one command. But underneath that are models for 60 different exotic derivatives and options. Many of them have lots of different parameters that can be controlled. And they all have to be implemented with very fast, scalable and accurate models. Also on the computation side, we've added a whole set of new capabilities for time value of money. So that includes things like uh, annuities and interest objects and bonds, as well as derivatives. And one of the challenges when you add those kind of capabilities is to find a consistent way of representing them so that they all fit together nicely. And there's, there's lots of uh, difficult issues to deal with, such as uh, interest rates where the interest rates are changing, perhaps over not regular intervals and payments that change and so on. And we've come up with a single elegant framework that specifies all of these things and allows you to add that information to the system very quickly. We've also added a whole range of finance specific visualizations and those integrate in very carefully with the financial data that we've had since Mathematica 6. So in a single line of input, I can pull in the latest share prices on a particular uh, stock and visualize it and see how that's changed over time. I can interactively drill into that data, change the time interval, add on one of perhaps 100 financial indicators on top, such as Bollinger Bands, and, and see that immediately visualized in front of me. As well as having interactive visualizations that you can use for investigation, all of the visualizations can also be used in a component form within the programming language. So I can build some much larger scale system and deploy an exact visualization the way I want it with exactly the right indicators on it out to the organization, perhaps through a web service or by embedding it into your existing system. Mathematica has always been a great platform for building technical applications on. But by adding these kinds of financial models directly into the core system, we've made it a much richer platform to develop on.